Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly strike through text on Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. It can sometimes be necessary to remove or strike through text in Google Docs. This is quick to do, but can be tricky to find if you've not done it before. I'll begin by opening an existing document. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer over it and clicking on it once. To strike through any of the text shown on this page, I need to start by selecting it. I can do this by moving my mouse to the right of the word or words I want to strike through in the document. I'll then click and hold my left mouse button and you'll see I can slowly drag my mouse over the text until it's completely selected. And if I then release my left mouse button, the word stays selected. I now need to format this text to add a strike through. To do that, while still keeping my text selected, I'll move to the text navigation bar, shown at the top of Google Docs. You'll see there are a number of options shown here, but the one we're interested in is format. I'll click on this once to choose it. A number of options are then shown, and because I'm working with text, I'll move my mouse pointer over the first option shown, text. A number of further options are shown, and of course the one we'll choose is strike through. Clicking on this, you'll see the text we've selected now has a line shown through it, and you can click anywhere in your document to remove that selection highlight. If you want to quickly add a strike through to a document, without having to click into the menu options as just shown, you can do this using shortcuts. You still need to select the text you want to add your strike through to, in exactly the same way as I've demonstrated previously. But once done, to quickly strike through that text, hold down the key combination shown on screen. I'm using an Apple Mac. I'll press the Command and Shift key together, along with the letter X. If you're on a Windows PC, you should use the key combination Alt and Shift, along with the number 5. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.